Germany to ban single-use plastics by 2021. Here's a summary of the article. Incidentally, the decision taken by Germany falls in line with the directives of the European Union for reducing plastic wastes at the earliest. When Germany does manage to ban these products for good, items like food containers, cotton buds, plastic straws, and others will be a thing of the past. Countries like Germany have considered banning single-use plastic products because, despite our noble intentions, they shouldn't be used at all. People using products through single-use plastics should be more responsible and take initiatives to refrain from using them as that would reduce the dependence on single-use plastic products. If the data collected by UBA is to go by, then in 2017 alone, Germany collected 18.7 million tons of plastic waste. The discovery of microscopic plastic particles inside birds, aquatic animals, and others even in faraway places means the extent of pollution due to discarded plastic materials is huge and the need to tighten their usage or even completely banning them was felt acutely in many countries, including Germany. The efforts taken by Germany in putting an end to the usage of single-use plastic products is a small step in alleviating the dependence on fossil fuel by the country. This post received a score of 55,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Seems like this does not cover single-use plastics in the industry. I have worked at IKEA and we throw away large amounts of plastic packaging for wares on pallets all the time. It feels a bit redundant for to protect the cardboard packaging. For real though I work at a grocery store and my god do we throw out so much plastic wrap from pallets and just everything. One thing always gets me is the cleaning supplies will all come individual wrapped and then wrapped individually again and then put inside a larger plastic bag. In one of those cases there's probably 15 to 20 plastic bags to just get thrown out. The whole commercial industry creates more plastic than the consumers and I also feel like as a consumer it's hard to avoid plastic because it's literally everywhere all the time. And this is exactly the crux of the problem. Too much onus is put on consumers to change their consumption habits, and, while necessary, does not put a dent in global waste production. Changes have to come from further up the line, and manufacturers need to be held responsible. I think the idea that demand drives supply needs to be revisited. Consumers can only purchase what is made available to them. Stating that consumer demand drives up consumption, and, therefore, waste or energy use, has become a means of blame shifting. The idea that consumers drive supply, in my opinion, is an outdated concept. This is especially true if you consider modern advertising practices that specifically employ psychology to influence consumers to feel that they need a product. I believe it's time to address advertising in this country. Actually, what you just said is evidence that consumers do drive demand. I'm assuming you mean demand, not supply. Consumers driving supply doesn't even make sense. The fact that advertising exists is the proof that consumers drive demand. Advertisers want to get consumers to want something, because once they want it it will sell. Until they want it, there is no demand. Consumers drive demand, but an advertiser's job is to try to drive consumers. A fair criticism of my argument. I suppose we mean different things in our phrasing. It is my position that the psychology of the consumer is incredibly susceptible to influence, so suggesting that they drive demand is somewhat disingenuous, as it implies, at least to me, that they are individually responsible for their consumption practices. I understand what you mean though. The consumers themselves are still doing the consuming. This video was automatically created by Reddit to Speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.